All right, this is a little tutorial video with the awesome Emily Houston. And um, this is Miss Janeski talking, and we are gonna talk about beginning French horn fundamentals. And so we're gonna show you a couple things that we do to make really awesome players from a very young age. So um, Miss Houston is going to show her um, left hand, which you play on horn, and she's gonna make sure that she has mountains with her um, hand and she can actually even see through it. Now there is a pinky ring on the French horn and it's kind of not the same as what a trumpet is. So if you have a kid who's really applying a lot of pressure, we would suggest that you put it on the top rather than um, in the actual ring. And some horns actually have enough room. Emily's does not have enough room to put it beside it. So she has to actually place it on the top of it. Now talking with that left hand, it's also important to remember that you do not want your left hand to be higher than your mouth position. This is very prevalent in young players. So we want to think about a ski slope. So Emily's face, I'm moving now a little bit. Emily's face is here and you can tell that this is a ski slope sliding all the way down here to her fingers. There's also another ski slope which is coming down this direction. So it should not be to where they cannot feel, yeah, it should not be lifted up in that direction when we start. Everything should be angled down. Um, and then we're gonna look at our right hand. So there's some people that are smaller as beginners, and so we are kind of flexible about our right hand horn position. So Emily's gonna hold it up and we're gonna play notes in different hand positions for you. We're just gonna, um, she's just gonna play a note, a whole note. And so this is one way. And this could be another suggestion with it inside the bell. Most, and you will hear how different the sound sounds there. And then this is the correct way. Placed on the right side. Now I have used tape, like painter's tape, to show the students where they're going to put it. And they will feel the tape inside the bell. And I often put it over here so that they can feel that their hand goes here immediately rather than on the left side. And that seems to help with kids. Um, especially the younger ones. Now we're going to talk about our what our face does when we play. So we're going to look at Emily's embouchure. So she's thinking about her chins being pulled down and her corners are touching the back of her teeth. And then she's going to put the horn up to her face. Maintain that same embouchure and play it a long note. Okay, and so we're double checking finger positions again. And we're checking that ski slope. Those ski, ski slopes. And um, then if a student is really small, they may need to actually even use the chair to place their instrument on and play off to the side. Yeah. And then some students who have really, really full lips, we have been really successful with putting the students in the center of their mouth. So Emily, show them what it's going to look like. It, she's not going to sound good when she plays this note, hopefully, even though she's an all-state player. So you hear what it sounds like for her. But you have to find the magical spot on your kids. So if they have um, really, really full lips, you're going to see what they're going to look like one more time. And we know Emily does not sound good, and she's embarrassed that I made her do that. <laughs> um, but look at the ring on her face so you can see. Hold your head up a little bit more. So you can see that it's on the top of her mouth. So we don't want most players to be in their lip or below. So look at mouthpiece placement one more time. This is the correct way for most kids. And notice that she's once again coming down to an angle this way. Play one more time, Emily. All right, hope this helped you. Thank you. Thanks, Emily.